Hey guys, this is your EMOM workout. So EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna be trying to get Joe to work as hard and fast as he can for a set number of repetitions. He laughs already. Yeah, good luck to you. I know, yeah. bless. <laughs> so basically you wanna complete the repetitions as quickly as you can. You get the remainder of the minute to recover. I'm gonna set you up each time for the next exercise that's coming. So you wanna have your phone handy, just place it down on the ground in front of you and you wanna to start to use the stopwatch. And every time a new minute starts, that's when you will be changing your exercise. So I'd place the phone down in front of me. I'm getting set up for the first exercise. So Joe, you'll be doing 100 mountain climbers, okay? So if you're unfamiliar with a mountain climber, main things you wanna know. You're starting in a nice strong plank position, body's long and strong, my shoulders are stacked over my wrists, slight micro bend to my elbow, and I'm gonna drive my knees in towards my chest, keeping my butt down. So I'm gonna count every <laughs> knee. One, two, three, four, and I'm going as quickly as I can, getting to 100. Okay, so set that timer. You're getting ready to go. Joe, are you ready? We here. You guys ready at home? All right, let's do this in three, set up, two, and one, let's go. So you have 60 seconds to really count through this, okay? So you wanna always focus on this beautiful long flat back position, knees driving right in, and when you can really control the hips and keep the butt down, you're gonna keep the intensity in the core. Joe's doing pretty good, he's at 16 seconds. How are we feeling, Joe? I'm okay. <laughs> oh, Joe, he's never overly thrilled. <laughs> So you wanna get your heart rate up, right? This is a great way to warm up that whole body. And so as soon as you've done your 100 repetitions, you're gonna stop and you're gonna rest, okay? So you, Joe did that in 32 seconds, it was a little slow. No, it was pretty good, okay? So you wanna keep note of the times that you're doing these in because each time you do it, you're gonna notice you get a little bit faster and you can really track your progression. That was, that was nice. Second exercise is gonna be a burpee. So there's 10 repetitions. So with the burpee, you wanna come drop into a push-up, jump your feet and wide, jump up away from the floor. So that's the advanced option. I'm gonna talk you through some regressions while Joe is on his way. Joe, we're going 10 repetitions in three, two, and one. So second minute's dropping, right? So Joe is straight into the work. So he's, again, trying to do these repetitions as quickly as he can. Now your modifications if you need them. You can stagger the push-up and then jump in and out, or you can take the push-up out all together and really just focus on speed. Good, Joe. Yes. I like that push-up. Nice. You're done. Joe loves burpees, right? Okay. So now you want to really breathe. So Hari should be picking up even more from that. Always know you can use your progressions. So even if you do five full range burpees and then you need to sub out the push-ups for the other five, that's okay. Just remember where you're at and where you're gonna to progress to. The third exercise coming, we've got another 15 seconds before this next minute starts, is a tight rider, okay? So you're gonna come down into a mountain climber position and you're traveling down the entire length of your mat. That's one, absurd. two, and you're gonna go <laughs> all the way to 10. I have Ready? no idea how to do these. He does, he's learning. <laughs> it's good to keep Joe humble. Right, Three, two, and one, let's go. So the third minute dropping, beautiful. Now, so Joe is maintaining this long flat back position as he travels his body sideways, okay? So back and forth down that mat. If it feels really strange the first time you do this, don't worry, it does feel very strange, right? It's a coordination test. I'm just trying to keep Joe, you know, really on his toes here. But this is a great move because it's really taking a lot of the skills that you use and then asking you to move in a different direction. So it's like a little bit of a spin on the mountain climber. Okay. Good. Yes, Joe, well done. You passed. That's awesome. <laughs> it is a lot harder than you think, right? Yeah. And I like it, it's a fun tool. It's a little bit, it mixes up from traditional staying static. Like we gotta get on the move, guys. We're in New York, we need to be agile. Mobile. Anywhere. We're gonna talk about mobility later. <laughs> right now we're focusing on speed, okay? So the next exercise, you have 20 donkey kicks. So when I do donkey kicks, I like to land into more of a bear crawl position. So you're gonna kick your feet up, land nice and low, trying to really take out some of the impact when you land and you really wanna kick those feet up nice and high. So we're gonna see how much hang time Joe can get today. All right, ready to follow along? We're going in three, okay, guys, 20 repetitions. Human. Come side on for me, two and one, let's go. Good, okay, so come on Joe, you can get higher than that, that's good. So this is about confidence, right, and trust. How much do you trust your upper body to really hold that weight up? Good, now Joe's a lot heavier than me, right? So I might be able to move a lot more swiftly, but I want to push my whole weight into my hands and then kick up. So sometimes on this one, when you're really getting hyped, did you do 20? 
Oh, damn, I thought Come it was on, 10. Come on, Joe. Down, 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 <laughs> down, down. <laughs> right? So some, when the more hang time you get, it'll take you a little longer to get through the repetitions, but that's still cool. You want to get up as nice and high as you can. There we go. Come on, Joe. Last few reps. Let's make them a photo finish. Good. Okay, we could, we could improve a little. No, okay. Good. I have two torn labrums. <laughs> Don't throw that out there. Shout out, shout Try out. I'll, I'll get him a massage. Okay, cool. So we're coming into the final exercise of our email now. Last working minute, time to go all in. You have 20 repetitions of a squat to lunge combination. So it's one squat with one lunge. That's one rep, that's two reps. That will be three, right? So I'm gonna alternate my lunge each time. Joe, you ready? I'm ready. 20 reps, let's go. Nice. Okay, so chest is gonna stay lifted with each exercise. I'm going for range in both of these, okay? So in your lunge, you want your back knee coming down under the hip, keeping his chest up, good. Eye gaze forward, nice job, good. And that squat is really good range, okay? So we often start to cheat ourselves in a squat and just get to here. I want you guys to really push yourself, slow it down a little bit to actually get the full range of motion. Beautiful, how are we feeling, Joe? Good. I'm all right. <laughs> You meant to say I'm excellent, I love this. God, it feels good, I love my body. Good, almost there. I think you gotta, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta accept the fatigue. Don't Embrace lie about the fatigue, it. celebrate it. the fatigue. So that would be your final exercise, okay? So if you want to, you could layer on by adding another round of EMOM or you just use that as a finisher. But always take note of your times, okay? The clock is your friend. So you wanna really just track your progress with that and you're gonna notice the difference really quickly. Yeah. <laughs>